is doing well. I wanted to pop in with a little car chit chat. Welcome back to my channel. I love you guys. Welcome if you are new here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and join the family. So, so I wanted to pop in with a little car chit chat. Y'all, I am on my way to work. And um, this topic actually has been on my mind for a while now. I've tried to film it before. I look back at the footage, it was just a bunch of rambling. And this will probably be as such <laughs> the same, but hopefully I get this out and get it posted. And so I feel like insecurities comes in all different forms, right? So I feel like if I say that I'm insecure, that's that's not a blanket statement, right? I could be insecure about work or I could be insecure about, I don't know, my relationship or my looks, but though all of those are different insecurities. And for me, they do not go in hand in hand. I could be insecure in my relationships for whatever reason, but be very confident in myself physically and mentally and be very confident at work. Um, so that's how insecurities work for me. That's how my brain processes insecurities. Um, someone made a comment that kind of a couple of things triggered this topic for me and then someone made a comment on my plus size dating um, vlog in Los Angeles where I was talking about how I, you know, got on this app because I wanted to see if, if the stereotype was true in California. Like, guys are not interested in plus size women. They're not interested in black women. Um, that was the purpose of me downloading the app that had nothing to do with my insecurity, right? So it was more of a test for them <laughs> to see if they were into plus size women or um, black women. And I, again, I must say that I did get hit up a lot. Again, that particular experiment had nothing to do with my insecurities. Um, but with that being said, moving forward from there, I was thinking about after that, after I read that comment, I was thinking about, I was like, man, what am I insecure about? Because at my heaviest, I really wasn't insecure about my weight. Um, I'm not insecure about my looks. I think that, you know, I am attractive. Um, I'm not insecure physically as overall. I'm just not insecure, right? But I am insecure about, oh, I don't know how to describe this without sounding like I'm contradicting myself. Like, is it an insecurity though or is it... I don't know if it's an insecurity, y'all. I think it is a... I think it's the fact that I was so heavy for so long, it's very hard for me to not look at myself that way. And basically what I mean is, after I did that video, I was sitting back thinking I love to think about myself and <laughs> try to fix myself mentally. And I realized that one thing on my channel that I absolutely love to do that I don't do as much is try-ons. Um, whether they're getting ready for work with me, whether it's just um, new outfits, hauls, things like that. Even at my lowest, you guys, I could do, I could, even at my lowest weight, I could shop five different stores and I might only post two of those try-ons or two of those hauls. And honestly, even at my 
lowest weight, I think I still saw myself as 500 pounds. And it took me a very long time to realize that on my channel, I shy away from certain content, certain angles, doing certain things because not only do I see myself as 500 pounds, I feel like you guys do too. And who wants to see that trying on clothes? Most people cannot relate to a five, 600 pound person physically. Most people. Like, why am I clicking on a try-on video from a five, 600 pound person when our body type is nothing alike? So it's like, I'm really hard on myself, y'all, in that sense. I'm really hard on myself. And even though in my brain, when I look on that scale, I know that I'm not that person feel that. I still feel that. And I don't even, I think that I really was suppressing that because I was just doing so good and I'm just like, girl, you're almost in the 100s. Like, you don't want to be that low, but you're almost there. If you lose a couple more pounds, you're there. So I know based on the scale that I'm not 500 pounds, right? I knew that then. I know that now. But man, the brain, <laughs> it, I mean, the way it works can be, can be amazing, depressing, and all of the things. Um, I don't, for smaller people, maybe this can, maybe you guys can understand this. Have you ever looked in the mirror and saw someone obese like you as a smaller person i know i do have smaller everybody's not on my channel for the weight loss so for you people out there that's i don't know fit or just happy and living your happy and healthy life and you know you good when you look in the mirror you know you know you love what you see like can you imagine looking in the mirror and seeing someone three or four pounds heavier than what you are like I feel like that's the reality that I, I am in that's the reality that I have been in and I know it's called body dysmorphia and all of that but I, I don't know I don't know like this is what a rambling kind of started for me in the last video because it's like sometimes when I look in the mirror and I'm doing try-ons and all of that I do not see I see my progress. I see my progress. But most of the time, I see a 500 pound person, or if not, let's just not put a number on it. Most of the time, I see an obese person, a person that's way bigger than what I am. Most of the time when I look in the mirror. So I guess at the end of the day, it is body dysmorphia. Like, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's what it is. At the end of the day, I don't want to deny what it is. Um, I don't want to deny what it is. I hesitate so much, y'all. Like, I be, like today, even though I didn't have time, technically, I should have prepared myself better and I could have if my if my inner self really wanted to. I could have did a um a, a short of me getting ready, putting on my makeup, my wig, my little dress. It's nothing but a little dress, nothing to be major. Show y'all my shoes, my purse, grab all of that, show y'all when I went into the office, what I ate today. And did a little short and it would have been like, you know, focus on what I'm eating as well as, you know, maybe a plus size or got me showing y'all how I look. Like it would have been pulled, it would have been all of that in one little short. And those are the types of shorts that I want to do, but I have to get out of my head. I have to get out of my head. And also, <laughs> which is so crazy, I 
realize that there's so many people, and this is me comparing myself again, right? Which I shouldn't do. But there's so many beautiful plus size women that are bigger than me, y'all. And I, I look at them and I see that they're bigger than me and they are killing it with the shorts. Like people are watching and complimenting and subscribing and oh my gosh, so many people that started YouTube way after me, they're killing it. And I am the one that's holding me back in so many different areas of my life. When it and, and it's my weight or how I perceive myself. That's what, that is what's holding me back from me being the best that I can be. I'm just trying to see what traffic looking like, y'all. I'm trying to pay attention to traffic. That's why I'm not looking at the camera. Um, so with that being said, y'all, I just really wanted to chit chat. I just wanted to tell y'all, you know, how I feel and what, you know, what's holding me back in life in certain different areas of my life and not just YouTube, going different places or doing different things or certain things I don't do. Um, it's not a lot. But it could be one or two things here and there um, that I don't want to do because of the way I see myself. And it's just something that I am working on. It's something that I have identified. So I don't, you know, I don't necessarily need a diagnosis from a doctor or anyone. I know, I know what it is. Um, maybe I do need to go talk to somebody about it. Uh, maybe I do need some therapy. Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know what I need. Um, I don't know, but I would love to know what you guys think about this topic. Have y'all dealt with something like this before? Are you dealing with it? How are you dealing with it? All of those things, all of those things. Um, I hope and pray that this video sounds good and my point comes across good. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and all of that. <coughs> So I hope that I got my point across and y'all understand what I'm saying. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this car chit chat in some way, in some capacity. I love y'all so, so very much. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of when I post videos. Um, I will see y'all in the next one. They want to ride right here, man. Huh?